For many Cambodians, childhood does not bring carefree days. Raised in a culture of poverty, in which parents struggle to support themselves, let alone a family, children enter the economy at early ages. Education could be a way for people to break these cycles of poverty, but in a land dominated by the day-to-day -day fight to survive, where decent schooling is private and expensive, parents often decide to put their children to work instead of through school. To alter this cycle, the Methodist mission in Cambodia supports multiple educational ministries designed to serve diverse groups of people. Located just outside Phnom Penh, this city dump was closed over a year ago. When it was open, more than 10,000 people lived on the outskirts of it and spent their days looking for anything they could sell. Today, most of the valuables have been collected and the majority of families have moved on. But not all have left. For the ones who remain, the light at the dump site school stands just on the edge of the trash heap. Supported by the Women's Division of the United Methodist Church, the school teaches English, sewing, and other practical trades. Because going to school prevents children from working, and therefore costs families income, the school pays some parents $5 a day to let their daughters and sons attend. When possible, children eventually transition into the public school system to further their studies beyond what can be taught at the dump site. However, the public school system does not consistently provide a high standard of education. To acquire the knowledge necessary to thrive, public schooling is often insufficient. Twelve years ago, the Methodist Cambodia School was started with eight students. The school teaches traditional curriculum as well as survival skills like how to recognize danger signs of child trafficking. Their reputation for excellence has grown so much that students now come from all over the city, including the children of government officials, and over 700 students attend. For women and men intending to serve the church and the world as clergy, a Methodist seminary offers housing and meals. Students attend classes and worship in the chapel. Along with many of their fellow Christian leaders, most seminary students are young and bring a sense of promise and direction for years to come. By providing educational opportunities to people from many walks of life, the Methodist mission in Cambodia sows seeds for long-term systemic improvement to standards of living, giving students the skills they need to care for themselves, build their communities, and work for a brighter future.